and welcome to the simplified user guide to the G460 from GFG. So here we have the smart charging download and calibration cap, the unit itself and the external pump. The pump has its own battery pack available with either alkaline or rechargeable options. However, the pump can only be charged with the DIC2 drop-in charger. The pump can be operated by the front flick switch, locked on or off for passive mode of operation. The G460 itself has an integrated Allen key on the rear of the unit. This is used for removing the battery via the two screws at the front, on the unit itself or on the pump. The smart charging cap attaches to the front of the instrument using the two screws and if the G460 is in operation this will automatically activate the smart calibration functions. The pump attaches in the same method and can be flicked either to a quick on position, a locked on position or flicked all the way down for diffusive mode of operation. The unit will start up with a basic sensor test, an alarm test. This will give us any warnings or alarm signals. It gives you a general overview of the sensor's performance and then it will give us any alarms that are enabled on the unit in terms of calibration alarms as we see here or any bump tests that may be due. So if we acknowledge each of the alarm settings, we then get the option to start monitoring. However, it will begin with a automatic detection for zero. So in this case, we're doing an auto calibration of air which will auto calibrate the O2 sensor. So flicking into detection mode, we'll be able to see any of the gases. We can then focus on the individual gases by pressing the zoom button. This means we can identify any particular gases we want to look at while we're doing the monitoring cycles and also give us an overview of the battery. So to get into the service menus on the instrument and do calibrations, if we press and hold the middle button, it will then invite you to input a security code which as standard is set to 0011. Then press the middle button again to acknowledge and here we'll give options for locations, users, any data logging settings, any clock settings, service for providing any calibrations, any autocal features, options or the pump settings on the instrument. If we flick back to detect, to switch the unit off, it's a 321 hold down on the off button. Alternatively, you can go and visit our website at www.safetymonitors.co.uk or do give us a call on 01489 890 458 between 9 and 5 Monday to Friday or outside of normal working hours, please do give us a call on 07951 854 824. We're here when you need us and we understand that the normal 9 to 5 day doesn't always apply. So please do feel free to give us a call. Thanks for visiting and we hope to see you again soon.